functions together. In fact, these three functions look very similar. The first thing is we need to check whether given tree is empty or not. So we, we are going to check whether this one is a valid object or not first. And if it is so, we're going to print the label. And we're going to add a space at the end. And we're going to recursively call preorder function on the left part. And we're going to call this function on the right part. So this is all we need to do. Actually, this one is from Hanna. And when we want to implement in order traversal, we're going to do the same thing. However, in this case, the print label is going to be placed between these two function calls. Okay. And when it comes to the third one, post order, we are going to place the print function at the end as follows. And we're going to call print post order functions on the left part first and the right part, and then print the label of this root node. Okay. So this one is print first and then visit left and right visit left first and print the root, the given tree, root of the given tree, and then visit the right part. And in this case, we process the left and right part in order, and then process the root of the given root, given tree. Okay. And this is going to be our last uh, PPP exercise of today's lecture. Um, what we want to do is implement min leaf depth function. This function receives a tree and returns the minimum depth of any of the leaves in T. So when T is defined in this way, the minimum depth of leaf is zero because it has just one node. And in this case, the minimum depth of leaf is one because these three leaves have the same depth one. So we are going to concatenate T2 here and the minimum depth is going to be one because this one depth is one, although this one has deeper leaves and so on. 